I had purchased a few grapevines about a month ago when they first showed up at the hardware store, but I really hadn't put any thought into what I was going to do with them. So I was hitting a point where it's like, well, I got to get them in the ground, uh, but I also got to build some kind of a trellis for them to, to vine up. So as I was thinking what I was going to do with it, I thought, well, why not incorporate some exercise equipment as well? So I put in some parallel bars for doing dips and a chin-up bar as well. And it's all 2 by 4 construction. I, I wanted to use 4 by 4s for the post, but they didn't have any treated 4 by 4s at the hardware store. So instead, I just paired up two two by fours and when I did it I, I just uh, made it so the grain on, on either of them is going opposite direction to each other so that they don't have a tendency to warp in the same direction. I was considering it making it like really beefy but I was adding up the cost of uh, treated two by sixes in my head I was like no I don't think so that's I don't want to be spending a thousand dollars on this project as it is between the materials and the plants and that it was it added up to close to five hundred dollars and that's that's just the cost of things uh, these pipes alone they want like forty dollars a piece for these things now people want a really expensive government that they get it and uh, they're gonna pay for it one way or another with everything they buy but these pipes uh, if you don't, if they don't have the exact size that you need, most of the big box hardware stores will cut and thread the ends of these pipes for you for free. So they just happen to have the four foot sections for me. So between using the pipe and then these floor flanges here makes it real easy. I had built a similar structure like this before in my old yard and I had actually sent bolts through uh, but the problem with that was then I had to actually, on the opposite side, recess, like drill out to recess an area to put the nuts on because the bolts that fit there weren't long enough to make it all the way out. So this time I decided I'll make it easier on myself and just got galvanized lag screws, which which uh, plenty sturdy enough to hold on to there. And few plants in. As you can see, living up on the mountain here, this is all rock and clay that comes up. So, but even with that, I mean, things grow out here. It's a forest. So in spite of, of all the rock and clay, you're still able to get things to grow. I did dig out a really deep hole both in diameter and depth for these and put some good soil in there. So hopefully that's enough to get them a, a good start. And there's a couple back on the rear of it too. So it's all fenced. Uh, this two by four fence, I don't even know what it was called, but I just use these, uh, they're called poultry net staples. So you just hold them up in place and tap them in with a hammer and that worked nice. Um, Every four feet, you know, you just put a nailer up there. Easy. Hanging this one on top there, I just put a, a few screws up there so that at the length I can just hang it up on there while I put the staples up in the place. Got enough head clearance here that I can step in here and don't bump my head. And same thing here from where the chin-up bar is, left enough room. And uh, at the edge of the fence, you always make sure that that two by four is there. So in, in the crazy instance I were to bump off of that, I'm gonna be bumping my noggin off of a piece of wood and not off the sharp edge of a fence. If you're not able to do a full chin-up right off the bat, what you wanna do is is find something like this where you can set your feet up on top of it because you don't want to be pushing off with your legs. The idea is to just set your feet up on, on that ledge and it takes the weight of your legs out of the equation so that as you're lifting with the chin-ups, you're, you're uh, significantly reducing the amount of weight you got to lift and it makes it easier on yourself. And it's the same thing when you're doing dips here. You could always 
uh, just just put a cinder block or a bucket or step stool or something underneath you to to help make it a, a lot easier, make yourself less weight to have to lift. Um, and even if even if doing that right off the bat is too much, you can start off by just holding on to this and putting your feet out here and and just uh, doing your lifts that way. If if you want to make it harder. You then put your feet further and further. The sharper of an angle you're at, the harder of a workout it is. And the less of an angle, the more straight up you are, the easier it is. So so anybody in, in any physical condition can start off with the simplest of exercises and then move up towards doing the full body weight versions of it. And if it becomes too easy where you're doing a set of 30 chin-ups with no problem, then start working towards doing them one-armed. That essentially doubles the amount of weight you got to lift by moving to one arm. For these thicker parallel bars, I used a, a larger one and a quarter inch diameter pipe because you're going to have your, your weight sitting up on top of it to hold you. So I like that a little beefier. And then... For the chin-up bar, I went with a smaller diameter, one inch, because at my old place, I had put up one that was one and a quarter inch, but it was just a little too big for your grip up there. Like it was, it was really hard to hold on to at that diameter. So bumping it down to just one inch made it uh, much easier to, to grab and hold on to there because a, a larger diameter pole is, is just going to be harder on your grip. I feel like body weight exercises are, are really good for if, if your goal is to lose some weight because with body weight exercises, the heavier you are, the more difficult they are to do. So as you're doing them, it's like your brain's telling your body, hey, this, this is really hard, lose some weight to make it easier. So I think there's like a, a, a mind psychological connection that happens there that really helps people lose weight when they get into body weight calisthenics. And it works great. I mean, you can see in prisons, a lot of people don't know that decades ago, most of the prisons took away the, the heavy weightlifting equipment that they gave them because the prisoners were getting too big and the, the officers were worried about how big they and dangerous they were. So a lot of times there, they got to train with just their own body weight and, and improvise using whatever's available to, the, to them. And just the fact that they do it every day consistently just gets results. I mean, we've all seen somebody who goes in the prison 18 months later comes out jacked. And uh, I, I guess when your options are, are get stronger or, or get your cheeks busted, it gives you some motivation to get the work done. And us out here, we're, we're so blessed that we have so much time on our hands that it's not hard to just each time I come out here and walk by it to just just do either a set of dips or a set of chin ups. I mean, there's no reason we can't do this stuff. There's Brute napping out in the shade. It's cooling off nicely for him. Feels good right now. Now, whenever I, I post a video about one of these little projects I do, I really open myself up to ridicule because I'm not perfect and nothing I do out here is perfect. But that's the whole point I'm trying to make here is, is nothing needs to be perfect. When you're working towards self-sufficiency or, or whatever it is you're doing, good is good enough. Just, just to be taking steps in the right direction is something positive. You know, there is absolutely nothing special about me. I, I have very many flaws and, and very few strengths. But even uh, somebody like me can just start taking steps towards doing what it is that you want to do. If we can all step out of the matrix and just begin the process of taking our lives back. You know, humans weren't made to hire out somebody to build things for them. You know, you were given the intellect to figure out how to build something. You know, the, do, taking on something like this in, increases your construction ability, even if you suck at it. It doesn't matter. You can still do something. You know, we weren't made to go 
to the gym. The entire world is your gym. Find a way. Why get a gym membership when you can make something like this? Uh, do do some push-ups on the ground. I mean, even if you can't do a single push-up, get on your knees and do a girly style. You know, there's no shame in that. This right here, I mean, these exercises in... in in addition to doing chin-ups, you can do the best ab exercise there is as well, doing leg raises, hanging leg raises there. I mean, I see people do like 1,000 crunches a day, and, and what a excessive waste of time that is. Start off hanging from the bar. Just, just uh, start off bringing your knees up to your midsection at first, and then eventually work up to keeping your legs straight and, and lifting them straight out. That makes it much more difficult. That'll uh, hit your midsection a lot harder than any crunches ever will. And besides, working out it shouldn't be about getting good abs or, or or looking good in your bikini. That's really a shallow reason for doing it. It's all about your health. No matter what condition you're in, you can always make yourself a little bit better health. And as a preparedness measure, I mean, if if you're child or a grandchild is a, a hundred yards away from you and they start choking or start drowning, what are you going to do? You're just going to stand there and watch them because you, you're not in good enough shape to get over there? No, you got to be able to move and take action. So you, you don't work out to train to become Mr. Olympia or become an Olympic athlete. The whole point is to just improve from wherever you are. Start now and just, just get better. Uh, for, that's what it is for me. I'm, I'm not in the greatest of shape right now, and I'm starting a new program, but just each, every day I can chip away at it. Sure, spending $500 on this, if I let this just sit and rot, it will have been a lot of waste of money. But if for the rest of my life I can grow grapevines off of it and delicious grapes I love that are wholesome and delicious and keep working out that improves my health, then this $500 will have been a drop in a bucket. A, a structure like this is priceless for, for how much it can change your life. So just start somewhere. Boy, I went on a little bit of a rant there. I don't, I don't even know where I was going with that.